Porsche can be really tough sometimes. Welcome to Vysoft's toughest functionality tests. When the development department of Porsche moved to Vysoft in 1966, they built several production halls and a research center for new and secret technologies. So let's discover some treasures in Vysoft. The skid pad is a circular area and is used especially for testing the sports car's handling. The most common skid pad test is the lateral acceleration measured with the G-Force. With this test, we check the driving dynamic to its limits. Rapid turning maneuvers are used to test the wheel bolt's stability in terms of safety. The skid pad is one of the oldest institutions in Weissach and has been here for more than 50 years now. The test track is the core element and the test by fire for every new model. There are plenty of tests, just like driving over the metal potholes at 40 kilometers an hour. The chassis is exposed to simulated bad street conditions. At about 30 kilometers an hour, the sports car drives through the saltwater tank. With this test, we examine the corrosion resistance of the lower parts of the sports car, the tightness of cuffs, and plug contacts. And these tests were already being done a couple of decades ago. While some tests look like a lot of fun, you can be sure the jump test is nothing to joke about for our sports cars. The axles are exposed to immense forces and are tested to their limits in order to develop the most stable ones. Three hundred kilometers an hour is the speed with which airplanes take off. To avoid it, we test our sports cars from day one. This is very important as we experience these velocities while driving on the racetrack. And you don't want to miss out on speed when you're driving in a sports car. We've developed a vast range of rear wings and spoilers that produce a lot of downforce, always an advantage on the racetrack. In 2015, we began testing our new aeroacoustic wind tunnel with the same goal, precision. There we can measure force changes of about one newton, and we can simulate wind speeds of up to 300 kilometers an hour. Just crazy. Time to get dirty. On our off-road track, we're able to drive a sports car through a fording basin and immediately deal with rugged terrain. Maybe this is one of the reasons why our rally cars were also very successful. Just like the 959, which won the iconic Paris-Dakar race through the desert after an intensive training period in Visa. On the torsion waves, we test the chassis stiffness as well as shake stabilization. You can feel the stones hitting the chassis when driving through the hump curve at about 70 kilometers an hour. There and on the incline track, the sports car's total operational stability is tested to its limits. The fording basin tests the ability of our sports cars to deal with high water levels. For example, in flooded tunnels or underpasses. What is a pain to the heart of every sports car enthusiast is one of the most important testing procedures in Weissach, the crash test. And yes, we always cry when a sports car is crashed. But in order to ensure safe models, we have to do it. By the end of the 1980s, Porsche installed its own system for crash tests in Weissach. 30 years ago, our engineers were as creative as today. To simulate brutal force impact, they used one physical force, gravity. Very clever. We used it to push them, to roll them over, to tackle them, and to skid them. But we wouldn't be Porsche if we didn't test our sports cars to their absolute limit. Before the rail system was established, the cars used to be dropped from a crane as crash test simulation. Ouch, that must have hurt. That was the first season of Porsche Top 5 Charts. But you can be sure that there are plenty more amazing stories. If you have any ideas for another Top 5 series, let us know in the comments below. Hope to see you soon.